All right, welcome back to another video, guys. We are here in Cebu. We have just arrived at the airport and uh, we are going to be heading towards the city. What I'm looking for right now is the my bus, which is a connection from here in uh, the airport all the way to the city. So we're gonna be doing it the more tourist friendly option today. Let's see if we can find it. Right before we leave, there's a Jollibee's and bus, taxi, private cars, but we're going for the bus. Okay, look at that. Bus to city, Cebu airport. It says SM Cebu, SM Cebu. Yes, I think this is it. My bus, look at that. There we go. How do we get a ticket? Hello, I want to take the bus. Do I get a ticket here? Yes. Okay, okay. And uh, how much is one ticket? 50. 50. Okay, perfect. Thank you. But yes, this is the bus to take uh, to get all the way to SM Cebu. I believe that is a um, mall that we can get into the city and from there we move on. But now we wait in line and it's only about 50. Which is only about one dollar yeah about one dollar to get all the way from the airport to the city so not a bad deal hello i just get one ticket to uh, yes, yeah yes, thank, thank you. you this is our copy thank you exactly how to get to the hotel but maybe we'll ask around and see if we can find out how I I want to go to Tabunak or Talisa how much 50 thank you where do I wait for the bus okay okay thank you so from what I've been told, apparently what I have to do is wait over here and we're going to be catching another bus to Talisai, which is close enough to Tabuno. And um, actually, oh, the bus is right here. Look at that. But what I said earlier was that this is the more tourist friendly route. That is probably the only two routes that I see in this whole trip. So I guess this is more of a local way of transportation. But all together, I had to buy two tickets, um, both of them 50 each. So about $2 to get close enough to my uh, destination. I think it's worth it. So as you see on the sign, it says Tally side. This is where this bus is going. Is that soccer team? Sir? Soccer team? No. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> it looks like a jersey. <laughs> Uh, Talisa is the last stop? Okay. Thank you. Alright, we have made it. Now, we only have about a 10 minute walk. To our hostel. Let's go. Hello. Uh, these are coffee. Okay. So I'll just yeah maybe I get this. Do you have a large or? Actually, six flippers and one size flip. Just one size? Okay, okay. I get the ice caramel macchiato. Yes, thank you. Yeah. 
Yeah, I just carry it. Thank you. Thank you. Right, right. All right, today we're going to be fancy. We got ourselves a macchiato, a caramel macchiato. I have never had one of these before, but let's try it out. It really, as you guys seen, I think it's basically like 90% ice. You add some milk, some coffee, and uh, caramel. Let's try to mix it up as much as possible. So we get a good taste. Anyways, this Milan. Yeah, it's good. As you guys seen, a lot of milk, although they did add a good amount of coffee, I would say a solid like shot of an espresso, possibly like two espresso shots. And uh, when you mix it in with that caramel sauce and milk, it's an amazing flavor. You know what? I might be a fan of these iced caramel lattes from now on. And all of that for 40 pesos less than one US dollar. Very good. Good morning. What do you recommend? What is a good thing to have? Uh, yeah, like a sweet pastry. Spanish. Spanish? Okay. What else is another thing? Okay, maybe I get one of this and one of this. Perfect. Are these uh, very popular in the Philippines? Yes? Okay, perfect. Okay, there we go. Sorry? Oh, Jules? Julie's Bake Shop. Julie's Bake Shop, perfect. One for German and one Spanish for each one. Did the German come here? No, no, but the Spanish, they came here, yeah? All right, all right, all right. Only bread comes here. Sorry? Only bread. <laughs> Only bread, okay, okay. <laughs> it's uh, 14? 14. 14. Thank you. How about you? Thank you. Julie's Bread Shop. Look at that. We've got ourselves a nice breakfast for today. And by the way, yes, it is a travel day, so I don't have to fast today, but Normally I am, just want to mention that. Anyways, so the Germans have not came here, but their bread has, although the Spanish have. And we have a Spanish-German breakfast. Let's try it out. So first, historical accuracy, we will start with the Spanish. Bismillah. Take a look at that. Inside there's some sort of jelly, but the first bite was mostly just, just bread, although right away that bread is very good. But I'm going to try another one so we could see if uh, the jelly or whatever it is adds an extra flavor. Mm. Wow, amazing. Wow, I 100% approve of this Spanish little pastry right here. That is probably a 10 out of 10 breakfast. Great. And by the way, the filling definitely adds an extra flavor. It, it almost reminds me of like a, a sugary butter. And it tastes amazing when you pair it up with the bread all around it. Yeah, very good. And now for the German sort of pastry that I've never seen before. It has, I believe, chocolate inside, and this one is a lot more firm, and has like a crumbly texture, as you guys can see. This one. Wow, very good. It sort of reminds me of something that I've had before, some sort of pastry. I just don't really remember what it is. But it's amazing. It has like a little crunchy outside, 
the whole thing is pretty firm and it has just enough chocolate not to make it too chocolatey but to make it very enjoyable very tasty so both of them i think the first one was better but this is very good as well 10 out of 10 breakfast all together and by the way seven and seven for each makes it 14 which is like about 25 cents usd for both of the pastries amazing and we made it nacho hostel is where we stay today let's take a look and see how it is hello hi good morning good morning welcome to nacho hostel thank you yes, do you I... have reservation sir yes i do what name sir what name yunus yeah so, fill out this form uh, passport after okay Wow, it's a very big hostel. Yeah, all our hands are here. So this is our basketball court. Okay, and perfect. There's the basketball. The here. Perfect. It's here. Okay, you play basketball yourself? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Yeah. Okay, so perfect. Enjoy, sir. If you want yes. to play um ping pong. Ping pong, you can do it also. Yes, okay. perfect. Thank enjoy. you so much. Thank you. All right, so we are here. We've made it to the hostel. And honestly, I think I could definitively say for one reason and one reason only, this is the best hostel I've ever been to. Because this basketball court. Have you ever seen a hostel with a basketball court? I've been all around the world. And this is my first time ever actually seeing that. Okay, I haven't had a lot of practice in a while, so <laughs> I'm not the best right now. But let's see if we can make an actual three-point shot. You think I could do it with one hand? Ah, uh, so cool. Next try. One more try, one more try. We got this, we got this. Oh. Bro, I'm, I still got the touch. You see that? Oh yeah, and uh, fun fact, a lot of people might not actually know this about me, but um, I was supposed to make it into the NBA, although I went to the tryout and then they realized that I was just too good and it would be unfair um, for the NBA, so that's why I wasn't able to make it to the NBA. And if you don't believe me, just watch this. And by the way, I just wanted to assure you guys, absolutely no editing was done in that video. <laughs> All right, so while no one is here, I will give you more of a tour of the hostel. Right here is the bar. They have some nice decorations. It seems like some Mexican style. There's a nice area to sit over here. Take a look at this. We even have a pool with a volleyball net. And it looks like there's like a DJ thing over here. So it's a very good hostel. Oh boy, look at this. There's even a beer pong, I think that's what they call it. And look at this. We found the king of the castle. Hello, cutie. Oh, you're so cute. Hello. Oh, big stretch. Good job. What? Having a good day? Aw, she likes me. I love you too. So cute. Okay. I go now. Oh, bye. She wants to say bye to you guys. Actually, I think she said follow and subscribe and like. Like, comment, and subscribe. That's exactly what she said. So don't make her mad. You have to subscribe now. Right, and while we wait to check into our hostel, I think I seen a supermarket on the way here. So let's go over there and check out, see what we can buy. And by the way, one thing I'm look, noticing right away is look at all of these uh, jipneys. There's got a blue one, a pink one, 
they've got the tricycle ones there's a big bus over here a red one over there a gray one over there another bus there are so many different forms of transportation over here which i'm assuming makes traveling around Cebu very easy and convenient another bus look at this colorful one as well look over here robin supermarket i believe these this is like the the main the big supermarket here in the philippines all right right away we found something that i was actually looking for oh my god this is amazing we've got papaya for 20. this is incredible a bunch of different pineapples we have honey melon cantaloupe so many different fruits cut up but i'm gonna try and see if we could uh find it not cut up or only halfway cut up because that way it will be much cheaper look at this okay so they have these ones but unfortunately it doesn't seem like they're ripe enough to cut in half because sometimes what they will do is they'll cut it in half and that way you could just buy half of one unfortunately not today they've got bananas over here and by the way for one kg of papaya it's only about 65 so it's a little bit more than a dollar per kg tons more fruits over here everything is very neatly organized this i believe is just like the frozen section we've got meats over there eggs sugar rice cooking essentials tons of different things this is what it's like being in a um, filipino supermarket very cool all right so look at this i ended up getting him to cut one of them open and this gives you 476 net weight compared to 135 for 20 and this is only 30. it's a uh, not the most ripe but it will get the job done very good 33. thank you thank you ah, wow right beside the natural hostel i found a little market with some street food stalls let's see what they've got this looks like i think fried chicken hello what do we have here let's explore almost feels like a little town little village over here this is very interesting and it's right beside the uh the hostel that's cool look at this they've got a basketball court the way if you guys did not know basketball is one of the um i think it might be the national sport of the philippines or it is just a very very big sport here in the philippines as you guys can see literally we have a full court basketball court probably not the best most well maintained but hello what's this oh, okay Just walking through a random little town area village here in the Philippines. I don't know if I'm allowed going here. Hello, little kitty. Is this a dead end? What do we have here? Is this it? Let's see what they have here. Hello. Hello. Hi. Is this noodles? It's a... Uh, Mia? Depten. Okay. Uh, this pork? Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't eat pork. Ah, sorry. Thank you. We're gonna have to look out for it. We cannot eat pork. I would like to see if there's something to buy here. Maybe help the local economy over here a little bit. 
Oh, I think this might be a little church. Yeah, a little chapel church over here. Well, it's a little town. Hello. A little, little neighborhood right here. Very interesting. All right, so we just came back to the hotel to enjoy our papaya. And I'm gonna give you a quick little tour of the room once we check in. And that's where we're going to end the video. So that way I could start it when we uh, check in so we could explore the rest of Cebu in the next video. And now this is a time that I love to be wrong. Actually, the papaya is just perfect. It's not too early. It's actually right on time to eat it. Very good papaya. Mmm, so good. Right, so I ended up getting an actual upgrade for just because they're nice people because the other place isn't actually ready. I'm supposed to check in at two, but it's only one. And they said, okay, well, we'll just give you another room, which is actually even a better room. And this only has six beds. I got myself the bottom bunk right here. There is a charging plug and everything you need. It's clean. This is what's important. It also has an air conditioner. My first time having an air conditioner in Philippines, as well as there's a washroom and right here, hot water and a shower all in the same room. This, believe it or not, is a luxury. You don't get it everywhere. So I'm very happy with this whole entire hostel. But other than that, that's gonna be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, please like, subscribe, and we have more exploring to do for today, but we're gonna end this video and we're gonna restart in the next one. All right, see you guys, peace. Did I make that? I don't even know. <laughs> I literally made that two times and I haven't gotten on camera properly. So, third time's the try. Where the hell did that go? What?